Harry, it's one of those frustrating nights tonight, wasn't it? Because you were right in it, right to the end, and yet you've lost 2-0. Yeah, I mean, we've had some great chances, but we, we've gifted them two early goals and it's just ruined our game plan, really. But um, we, we dug deep. We had a great result on the on the weekend. We've had, I think it's five games in 11 days or something. We've got another game Saturday. The boys have been working so hard and um, we fell short today, which is no good. Uh, fans were unbelievable again, cheering us on to the last minute. So we, we had every chance, but uh, we just fell short tonight. At half time, was that the feeling? We can still get something from this game. We were right in it. Yeah, I mean, when they went 2-0 up, we still thought if we get the next goal, then uh, it's game on we just couldn't quite get the ball in the net tonight and, um, and make a game of it so I mean 2-0 probably doesn't show the whole game because we had some great chances I thought we dominated large periods of the game and um, we just lacked a bit in the final third and, and we gave them two early goals which cost us at the end of the night chances miss Lock just hit the post hasn't he and Morris has missed one in that first half good chances as well they're good chances but, but we, we all had good chances tonight I've had a chance but but it was more the the way we didn't really threaten them too much we sort of had a chance and then gave a silly free kick away or they, they just didn't get any momentum really into the game where we could go one one goal and then get another or a few chances in a row so it doesn't fall on anyone tonight it's, it's a team effort all, all of us have put a real shift in to try and get a result and um I feel like we could have got one tonight. I feel like we played well enough to get a result, but at the end of the day, it wasn't it wasn't good enough, and two 0 flatters them a little bit. But we know we've got to put it right Saturday. You will put in a big shift on Saturday. Do you think that affected the team tonight? <laughs> it's a championship. Everyone's putting in big shifts. I mean, they, they probably had a game Saturday, so it, it's non-stop really. I think Saturday is going to be our sixth game in, in two weeks, which is is crazy. So that's why you need a big squad. Everyone's coming in. Different players are coming in, putting in putting in shifts and and, and trying to get results. So. That's the championship, we can't argue with that. But yeah, the boys have been working hard recently, training hard, playing hard, and you put in a, a shift like you did against Blackpool. I mean, you've seen the bodies on the line, everyone throwing themselves at it. Sometimes you just fall short on the night here today. Has it been unsettling, the business this week? I mean, it will affect players, won't it? All, all the, the talk off the pitch, if you like. Uh, not really, no. I mean, we, we knew it, everyone knows it. We know as much as the fans do, as much as the reporter knows. So we don't know what's going to happen. We just know what Luton have released. and. That's it really. So we knew we had to put in a shift tonight and, and get a result and, and we, we weren't good enough tonight. It wasn't anything to do with unsettling this, that or the other. It was, there was the people on the pitch and uh, we didn't quite get it done. I suppose you, like the rest of us, you just have to wait to see what happens. There's nothing else you can do. Wait to see what happens. We, we don't know what's going to happen. Like if he goes, all the best to him because he's been a brilliant manager to us. I mean, I've got my whole career really to thank for him. So a lot of players here have got a lot to thank for him. So I'm sure the fans and the, and the club know how much he's done for us, bringing us from Leeds all the way up to the championship. We wouldn't be here where we are now if it wasn't for him. I definitely wouldn't be where I am. So if he goes, we're going to wish him all the best and um, see what happens. And the, the, fun, the fun doesn't stop at Luton really. We, we know we're a great club. We've got great players and we've got a great backing behind us. So. If he goes and we bring someone else in, we'll keep going. The wheels don't come off. We're, we're, we're challenging this season and, and we're going to keep putting it all in. Nice one. Thanks. I guess right. you'd want him to stay there, wouldn't you, if, if, if he does? If he stays, it's good for us because we know he's a great manager. He, he's been brilliant for us. He's taken us all the way. And we know how to play under him. But if someone else comes in, things don't change, a new system, whatever happens, the players will buy into that and we'll give anyone 100%. We always do. That's who we are as players. We've got a great squad in there. We've got players in there who throw themselves in front of a bus if it means it. So we've got the squad. We've got everything around us that we need to be. If he leaves, that, that's just part of football. I mean, he's left before and look what happened. We, we ended up getting promoted that season. So we know we can do it if he does. But if he stays, it's brilliant because we love him as a manager and he's a brilliant manager. But if he goes, the club will bring someone in. I've got full faith in the board to bring in someone who will help us. And he had the full backing from the fans, didn't he, both before and after the game? The fans were brilliant for him tonight and the fans were brilliant for us. They kept singing to the 90th minute. They always do. I've always said it, the way fans at Luton are unbelievable. They, they sing their heart out. They cheer you on to the last minute. And no matter what happens, we weren't great tonight. And they're still cheering on. And they gave him a great reception. And, and he deserves that because of what he's done for the club and, and he'll get that if he leaves because we love him we wouldn't be where we are if it wasn't for him and yourself you've had obviously injuries so far this season it's been a bit of a stop start campaign you're pleased to be back out there and, and fit again now yeah I mean it's been a horrible start to the season I've been injured the first few weeks and then got injured again I couldn't quite get myself going so I've had three big shifts in a week so it's been good for me to get back out there just need to, to keep working hard and, and get going really because I haven't really got my season going yet like I did last season and uh, once I get that first goal and, and have a few good games it'll be, it'll be job done and then I can get going with Carlton and Eli because I mean we've got some talented players in this squad we, we should be challenging this season we really should and we believe that and uh, once we get flowing again we'll put it right Saturday I guess you're desperate for that first goal because the season before it took a while didn't it and yeah. last season you got it in the first game so yeah. you just want to score that now don't you? that's football isn't it it's, um, it's just the way it is but no whatever happens to the team if I score I don't score as long as the team do well I'm, I'm happy so I didn't score in the team loss so it's probably the worst case scenario tonight but um, yeah, it'll, be, it'll happen, it'll come and uh, once we get a, 
my first goal and then the team will start winning again, it'd be perfect. So we've got to put it right Saturday and then we've got the international break. So, I mean, it couldn't come at a better time really for us to get put it right Saturday, a great home game and uh, hopefully we get the three points. Still and Harry Iceland as well. I mean, he's come in tonight and uh, no chance for the goals. A great save second half as well though. Yeah, great save. He's a great goalie. I mean, we sit every day in training, so it's no surprise to us, but he's come in at short notice. Ethan was ill tonight, I think, and um, he's come in and, and done brilliantly tonight. Um, yeah, he, he works outside in training, but it's not a shock to us how good he is when he when he gets a chance in, in the net in a game. And last game now for the, for the international break, it's far to get that win, isn't it, to sort of go off with a, with a victory on Saturday? Yeah, I mean, it's going to be huge for us. I mean, the league's so tight. We looked at the, the table after there. We've only dropped two places, I think it is. The league is so tight this season that you go on one good run and, and uh, you'll be right up there. So if we put it right Saturday, we'll go into the national break in a, in a great place and uh, hopefully come back and kick on again.